Hey guys, this is Brian with Powerhouse Racing. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a, uh, a new uh, solution for the uh, Toyota 6-speed, the twin turbo 6-speed rear ends. The problem that we have on these rear ends um, is a lack of availability on parts nowadays. But um, So if you're ever changing out your ring gear or changing out the differential itself, when you, when you do that, you have to be able to adjust the positioning of this r ring and pinion. And you have to ch ch adjust the backlash and you have to adjust the, uh, the preload on it. Preload is basically how much clamp is, is on the differential. But um, how you do that on these is with these shims that come on here. And the way these go into the car, these are, this is the way it came out. We're going to have it all pulled apart pretty soon you can see where it all is. But these basically are going in on either end. And depending on the thickness of each of these shims here, it will adjust where the differential sits in the housing. So if you have, like, if it sits this direction away from the pinion, it'll have a lot of backlash. And if it sits closer to it, it'll have less backlash. And each one of these has a certain specification of what it needs to be for the backlash and also for the preload um, on the, uh, as you try to rotate it. But, um, so the problem comes in is that these shims are no longer available from Toyota. You can't buy them anymore. They're they're discontinued. They've been discontinued for a little while, and they're basically impossible to, to change out. So whenever you have a problem with your rear end, or you need to change out to put a, a, a better LSD in it, you can't really set it properly because you can't get these shims. You can't, and it's not. You can't exactly just go out and cut it out of sheet metal because sheet metal only comes in specific thicknesses and stuff. So what Powerhouse has done is we have what's called a peel away shim, and the way this the way this works is basically about uh, 40 different layers of, uh, of, of steel, each, of the, each layer about two thousandths of an inch thick. So the way this works is you basically are starting at a thickness that's a little bit bigger, but the comp starts at point on one. I've already peeled a couple layers away on this one, and you can see the thickness we have there, have on it. It's about mm, 0.088 on the thickness of this one. So in this particular end, I'm doing the I'm doing the um, the backlash side first, which is the ring gear side. I needed about oh seventy thousandths around there, um, but each one I'm going to check on this. Well, so what we'll usually do is just peel away until we get pretty close. So this starts at 0 0.091, but it, you're going to get to get pretty close to where you want to be, and you probably want to stay a little bit thicker than what you're estimating so that you can check it is always better to be thick because you can't put the layers back on. You can always pull them off but you can't take them back or you can't put them back on. So you have to get kind of a little bit wider than you need and then peel away and measure as you go. But as you get here, you're able to get just into one of those little layers there. I'll show you the magic. So we get right there and you can see that layer starts to peel away right there. Let's see. And then I can just peel that layer up, and away it goes. Now we have a new thickness on this. Where we're at 0.088, or where are we? Right around there. We're now at 0.081. Yeah, probably measuring a little bit different spot. There's a little bit of glue on here, so it's not exactly perfect um, that I'm showing you, but as you can see, we're thinning it up slightly as we as we go. So I need to go a little bit further on this. I'll probably peel away one or two more layers before I go in and check my measurement. But that's basically it. And this will basically go in here. We'll get rid of the old shim. This will uh, basically line up on that. You reset, you reset it. Do the same on the other side. You'll have your measurements beforehand. Put that side on. Go back and double check your backlash. Um, and then you basically you're going to check backlash and check preload according to the manual and uh, that's basically it um, That's how they work and we think it's a pretty cool product a great solution for for all the people who are needing it So anyway, we appreciate you watching our video um, Hopefully that uh, you guys can make good use of this piece